Hey guys, I'm human biologist Gary Brecko. We talk about everything from biohacking to anti-aging to longevity and everything wellness that makes regular human beings ultimate humans. So today I'm talking about grounding, earthing, actually changing the pH of the blood by coming in contact with Mother Earth. Now maybe you've heard of earthing or grounding and you've wondered if it's just a bunch of bunk science or a bunch of voodoo that hippies do in the mountains. But actually there's a lot of very valid scientific proof that earthing and grounding, contacting Mother Earth, is very, very good for our physiology. In fact, a lot of the best anti-aging, longevity, wellness medicine is starting to come full circle. We're starting to realize that the further we get away from the basic sunlight, breath work, contacting the Earth, um, proper hydration and clean food, the more unhealthy we become. And so many of us have accepted things as a consequence of aging that are not a consequence of aging at all. Brain fog, weight gain, water retention, poor response to exercise, poor deep sleep, lack of waking energy, poor short-term recall. All these things that we chalk up to a consequence of aging are not a consequence of aging at all. Very often, they're a consequence of missing raw material in the human body, and they can be a consequence of us getting too far from Mother Nature. So what is earthing? What is grounding? You've heard maybe of a PEMF mat, pulse electromagnetic field, these mats that you can lay on that mimic the current of the surface of the earth. And those are fine. I have one myself. I have one in my own bed. But you don't need to spend that kind of money on a pulse electromagnetic field mat. You just need to take your shoes off and contact Mother Earth. So what does contacting the surface of the earth, what does coming in contact with the magnetic field of the earth do for our physiology? Well, we've all heard of something called pH, right? The acid alkaline scale. You may have heard that disease does not thrive in an alkaline environment. This is very true. But the pH range of the blood is very, very narrow. It's maybe four or five tenths of a point right? As you get lower on the pH scale, you become more acidic. As you become higher on the pH scale, you become more alkaline. Now, first of all, it's impossible to get alkaline by drinking alkaline water. That was one of the biggest marketing myths ever sold to the public. So just drinking alkaline water will not make the blood more alkaline. However, contacting the surface of the earth can. And how does it do that? Well, we know that pH stands for potential hydrogen, it's the potential of hydrogen. So in other words, pH is a charge. So if I want to change the electrical charge in the body, then I apply a current, a low Gauss current, a magnetic current about the same strength as the surface of the earth. So God gives this to us every day. Think about the last time that you had bare feet touching bare grass, sand, dirt, grass, actually touching bare grass. I don't mean with shoes or sandals on, and I don't mean walking on concrete or tile. I mean touching raw, bare Mother Earth, grass, sand, dirt. So when you do that, the moment that you come in contact with the surface of the Earth, there's an electron exchange. We actually discharge into the Earth. Earthing and grounding is one of the most beneficial things that you can do for a state of optimal health. Now, I know a lot of you guys are in a cold environment, so you can't do this in the wintertime, but if you're you know, fortunate enough to be in a mild climate where you can actually get your shoes off in contact with the surface of the earth. Let's talk about what grounding will do in terms of benefiting your body. Remember, as soon as we touch the surface of the earth, we're going to discharge. We're actually going to change the electrical field in the body. And when this happens, some of the benefits of this electrical field change are that we repolarize the surface of our cells. So if we want to understand how our individual cells exchange nutrients with their outside environment, eliminate waste, repair, detoxify, and divide. Well, when we have cells that are trying to exchange with the outside environment, this exchange is done through electrical charges. There are actually portals in the cell wall, um, these ion channels that get nutrients out out of the blood and bring it into the cell and they get waste from the cell out of the cell and dump it into the blood. And just like a magnet, when you have two cells that have the same charge, they repel, they don't touch. And this is a good thing. Think about a red blood cell floating around the bloodstream. If your red blood cells get opposite charges and start to stick together and clump up, then everywhere that they touch, you'll lose surface area. Valuable surface area for exchanging nutrients with the outside environment. If you actually were to take a drop of your blood, prick your finger, and put it on a slide, something called dark field 
microscopy. You could look at your blood under a microscope. In fact, maybe we should do a podcast on that. I'll do that next time because I have a couple of microscopes here. I'll show you my blood either before I touch the surface of the earth with bare feet or before I get on one of these PEMF mats, pulse electromagnetic field mats. So if you looked at your red blood cells under a microscope, you'd see that they tend to be clumped together and stuck stuck up, almost like too many cars trying to take the same exit. And again, every time they clump together, all that surface area that they have to exchange with their outside environment is lost. And especially, this is true in the case of gases with the mother gas, oxygen. So if I want to get more oxygen into the cell, specifically a red blood cell, then I want to free up as much surface area for that cell to exchange with his with its outside environment as possible. So when we touch the surface of the earth and we instantly change this polarity, this charge, we can see that that electrical field goes through the body and causes the polarity on the surface of our cells to change. It can actually restore these ion channels, these little gateways that are like security um, at a nightclub deciding who comes in and who has to leave. Right? We want to throw the waste out and we want to get the nutrients and the gases in that are going to feed that cell cycle, specifically feed an area of the mitochondria um, called the Krebs cycle. Remember, human beings are not powered by the food we eat, the air we breathe, or the nutrients that we ingest. We are powered by one single energy source called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And this is made in a little organelle inside all 32 trillion of your cells called the mitochondria. And in fact, you have about 10% of your body weight is mitochondria. We estimate that there's about 110 trillion of these little batteries inside every single one of us, inside all of our cells. So 30, 32 trillion cells, about 110 trillion mitochondria. So imagine if you could affect 110 trillion mitochondria in just a few seconds by coming in contact with the surface of the earth. So earthing, grounding, very real things. You know, if you ever watch any of my morning routine videos, you'll see that I like to get first light, the first 45 minutes of the day when there's no UVA or UVB rays. You'll see that I do an eight minute series of breath works, which is also available in another one of the videos. Um, but I also try to get my shoes off and contact the surface of the earth. And when I can't, I lay on a pulse electromagnetic field mat. PEMF mat, which will do the same thing as contacting the surface of the earth. But my preference is to get outside in mother nature, expose yourself to sunlight, take your shoes off, contact the surface of the earth. So what's an optimal amount of time to spend contacting the surface of the earth? Well, the ion exchange happens instantly. In fact, it's so quick that we can barely even measure it. It's in nanoseconds. We instantly discharge when we contact the surface of the earth. So as little as three to five minutes a barefoot contact to the surface of the earth will actually change the polarity and the pH of your cells and your bloodstream. So earthing and grounding is a very, very real thing. You wanna change the trajectory of your life, wake up every morning and get alkaline, get in contact with mother nature. If you'd like some recommendations on you know different PEMF mats that I've tested that I would endorse, I will put links to those in the comment section below, but you can do it all for free just by taking advantage of what God gives us every morning, the magnetism of the earth. And that's just science.